Yeah, Keegan and Megan, there is a lot on the line tonight for the five Democrats still in the race for the White House, and some candidates could bow out after the Super Tuesday results. That could affect voting here in Mississippi. The Secretary of State oversees elections here, and he tells us he's mostly looking for a big turnout next Tuesday. As Mississippi prepares to vote on the Tuesday after Super Tuesday, Secretary of State Michael Watson is hoping for a big turnout. But so far, he says, absentee numbers are kind of low. Typically, you project the numbers of Election Day based off your absentee turnout. So we we're hoping that turnout would be high today in the Super Tuesday elections. And again, we're going to be pushing the information out for next week uh, for a better than expected turnout. But Watson says there are other measures the state is taking to secure the Mississippi primary. We've upgraded our hardware. Uh, we've got our election management system uh, that we have a dual authentication, a dual factor authentication when people are using it. He tells us there are partnerships with DHS, the FBI, the National Guard, and local law enforcement across the state to make sure that potential threats are understood. I'm happy to report that our system has not been breached, uh, so we have a test on that. Uh, often uh, to make sure the system is up and running. He says he's also connected to secretaries of state across the country, sharing information just in case there are attacks in neighboring states. Typically what happens is if you see something in Ohio or something in Washington, uh, more times than not, it's going to be another state next. And so we've been able to get those updates from other secretaries of state and say, look, look out for this. We now remember, next Tuesday's election here in Mississippi has both a Democratic and Republican primary. The elections here are open, so you can cross party lines and vote for the candidate of your choice. There are also down-ballot races for nominees for U.S. Senate and several U.S. House seats. Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News at 10.